Hello, in this video we're just going to have a quick look into ECU cloning. Uh, we're going to clone this Volvo ECU. Uh, this is off a Volvo V70, a 2 litre, as you can see here. Volvo V70, and it's off a, a 2 litre, 163 horsepower, 2011 onwards. And the ECU model is EDC 17 CP22. So the first step uh, to do this is to uh, remove the screws around the ECU. Uh, we have a separate video. Uh, if you visit our channel and look at our other videos, we've got uh, videos of how to remove this lid. Um, we've got a new video coming uh, coming to the channel where we've got e um, ECU lid extraction uh, bolts. That go in, uh, we take these ones out and we replace it with extraction bolts and that lifts the ECU up uh, and allows us to cut the glue around the edge and it lifts the lid up uh, so we can take the lid off without damaging the edges. So uh, if you want to check that video out, check out our channel, um, that video will be on there, ECU, extraction, uh, ECU lid extraction. So uh, first step, once we've got this off, uh, it will look like this once we've got it open. And they're going to pause the video, uh, get this set up, and then we can show you the diagram on KTAG of how to connect this up like we've got it here. So once you've got your diagram up, um, as you can see here, first things to do is make sure this picture matches the ECU that you're working on. So the, uh, the um, layout of the board looks the same, and as you can see, uh, this is the same. Point of interest for this ECU is down here, and if we scroll down, we'll get a closer view. So it's the saying the boot point needs to go exactly here, and the pin out to the block connector needs to be this configuration here. As you can see, we've got that done already. It's important to make sure all these pinouts are correct uh, before you add any uh, power to your tool um, or communication to your tool also. The last bit, uh, last bit of this pinout is this grey wire. The boot wire needs to go to an exact point on the board. As we can see in the picture, that point is this point here. So on the circuit board, uh, you start to line things up. Uh, you can see this little plus symbol here. Um, you start to line things up and you can find this point. I'll just show you on the board where that is. So as you can see you've got the plus bit there. Um, you've got the uh, same layout as uh, you got as you got in your picture. And we've just uh, marked out uh, with a pen that the boot point is this exact point here. This one here. So uh, we're using these. These are very useful. Uh, we sell these um, if you if you are interested in buying these. It saves saves soldering in. Um, you can just use this. Uh, it's spring loaded. Um, and you clip the grey wire onto here. To the boot wire. So you can quickly, without doing any soldering, find the boot location, which is here. And then you just compress it down. Once you get, once you're happy with its, uh, with it, with the location of it, like that. You can clip the grey crocodile clip to the wire. It's a bit awkward to do one handed, but so that's on there. And that's going to boot. 
the pin out is done so now we can go through uh, to reading I'm just going to pause the video uh, we're going to supply power to the um, to the KTAG programming tool and then uh, get a read of ECU So the pin out to the block connector is done, the boot wire has been put in with our special uh, probe. Um, so we want to clone the CCO. as you can see we can take all data, all three files. The EEPROM file, the external flash and the micro maps. Um, so we can take all this data, if we select one it will only read one, if we select backup it will read all three. Uh, re read all the information from this ECU that makes this ECU link to that car um, and then we're going to basically get this uh, the, this ECU um, uh, the, um, the working one and we're going to write all the information from this ECU to this ECU so what we're going to do now is just simply read all three files from this broken ECU and we'll get all the data from it even though there's some damage some electrical damage done to this board uh, we can get all the data from this ECU and um, put this ECU onto the onto the BDM frame and we can um, write all the free files to this one. This is working hardware but doesn't match a car. But once you write that software onto this ECU, it'll be a one-for-one -one clone. The car won't know the difference between the two. Uh, both will start the car and it'll be working exactly like it was the uh, working original ECU for the car. So uh, that's it. So to read, you just go down to uh, across to read, press read. That'll identify the ECU. So it's reading uh, device info. There we go. So it's detected this number here. This is a software number. And it started to read all the different sectors of the microprocessor file. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, once that's finished reading, we'll save that down, link up the new ECU, the working ECU, um, and go to writing and restore all three files to the working ECU. And that will be a one-for-one -one clone of uh, the, previous, uh, the previous hardware. We do uh, all sorts of training courses, uh, we go into this in a lot more depth, um, uh, different types of programming, bootloader, BDM, uh, tricore protection, uh, DSG gearboxes and a lot of other stuff in remapping. We also have uh, remapping tools and auto locksmith courses and different courses. So if you want to visit our website, the website is theobdcompany.co.uk. That's theobdcompany.co.uk. Thank you.